What's going on, Crimson Tide Nation? College Football Nation, this is Jen 6 back here again. And today, got to talk about these Week 14 college football rankings that have officially come out. And, um, yeah, some, some changes here and there, but for the most part, almost the same. Now, the, the, two, biggest cha uh, the two biggest changes was Oklahoma and Baylor. Um, Oklahoma moved up a couple spots to 7th, and Baylor moved up a couple, they moved up a couple spots to 9th. Um, that is huge, absolutely huge for the Big 12, because that means that if Oklahoma wins out, Baylor wins out, those two will meet for the Big 12 championship game, and um, who knows, right? If, you know, who knows? Alabama season will be over, Utah will play a two-loss Oregon school, and Oklahoma and Baylor will face off. That's that will that will be another top ten um, matchup. Um, I actually think that as far as Power Five conferences goes, that will be the second um, top ten matchup between Power Five conferences. And if Oklahoma or Baylor wins that game, that could honestly jump Alabama. Um, or if Georgia loses to LSU, that can jump both those two schools, including Utah, into the college football playoffs. So that's really really good news for the Big Twelve. As far as Utah goes, not really good news for Utah because Oregon is out of the top 10. Um, that is not good. Um, that is not good, especially if you're Utah, because that means that you will play against a two-loss, you know, Pac-12 school. And we all know the Pac-12, right? As far as the conferences goes, the committee, I just, they don't like the Pac-12. We don't like, I don't like the Pac-12. But, you know... The Pac-12 has kind of, you know, they've they've kind of underachieved lately. So, um, I, I just don't think that Oregon really helps out Utah's case now, especially with the Pac-12 championship. You got to deal with Alabama, and then you have to deal with the possibility of Georgia winning the SEC championship game. Because if Georgia wins it, then this argument between Bama, Utah, Baylor, Oklahoma, it, that's out, Minnesota, that's out the window. Um... So I just don't think that right now it is good that Oregon is out of the top 10. Minnesota, it's good for these guys because, again, if Minnesota wins out and they win the Big Ten Championship against Ohio State, you know, Minnesota, if Georgia does, you know, Minnesota, if they win the Big Ten Championship, even if Georgia beats LSU, the more impressive win would be Minnesota beating the number one team right now, which is Ohio State. So Minnesota, if they can find a way to win out and win the Big Ten Championship, that will be very interesting. If we have a case of Georgia wins it and Minnesota wins it, that will it will be such a huge case to see, well, who's in and who's out. We might have a situation where, despite LSU's resume, they might be out of the college football playoffs and Minnesota and Georgia would be both in. I know that would, be, that would really sound bad if you're an LSU fan, but that might honestly be the case if that scenario goes down. Um... For Alabama, you just have to win and see what happens, right? Oklahoma plays Oklahoma State. That could potentially be an upset. Um, Utah plays Colorado. Maybe that could be an upset, right? Colorado, I think they beat Washington. So that's a possibility of, of you know, that's a possibility of, of happening, um, right? You got the Pac-12 championship, right? If Oregon beats Utah in the Pac-12 championship, that's huge. Um, Big 12. Right, if a two-loss Oklahoma squad or Baylor can get upset it, and a two-loss Baylor squad wins the Big Twelve championship, right? You know, so you, Bama needs a lot of things to happen. Um, one thing that really did happen was Oregon losing to, to Arizona State. That was really huge for them. But now they need you know two or three three more things to happen, and it's possible. Um, it's possible, especially with rivalry week, especially with the conference championship week after after this after this week. Um, a lot of things are possible, but um, the chances of Bama making it to the playoffs, I would say right now, I would give them maybe a 35. I would give them a 35% chance of them making the college football playoffs. I think a lot of things need to happen for them to get in, but I, I'll still give them a good chance because of their brand name, right? The the Alabama brand name is, uh, you know, it could very well carry them into it because they don't have the argument this year, right? They haven't been a top 25 team that's currently ranked. Um they lost the the one ranked team they played. They lost, and um, you know the strength of schedule is just not good. Now if they beat Auburn, which is fifteenth ranked. You know that definitely plays a factor, but it's just hard for Bama to 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 really try to find a way 
to get into the college football playoffs. But again, they do have a 35. I give them a 35% chance of happening. Again, there is a lot of scenarios that need to happen. But I think that Bama has a good opportunity for themselves to get in. But of course, they got to focus their attention on Auburn. Ohio State jumping LSU. Wasn't that shocking? I know for some, a lot of people are shocked by that. It's not shocking for me. Um, Ohio State beat a top 10 quality opponent and um, in Penn State. It was the only game this far that they've struggled in, right? They had like three fumbles. And yet they, you know, right, if it wasn't for the fumbles, they could have won that game by 30 points. Um, Penn State, I mean, I'm sorry, Ohio State has dominated every single team they've played against. And they've looked like the clear number one team in the country. Uh, you know, you look at the the opponents, right? They do, Cincinnati might be the Group of Five champion, and they obliterated them. They obliterated Wisconsin, right? They obliterated Wisconsin. They and they beat Penn State, right? They beat a lot of great quality opponents. Now you look at LSU, so uh, you know you look at LSU side. Yes, they beat Texas and Arlington, but throw Texas out the conversation now because Texas is six and five. Uh, you beat Florida, you beat Auburn, right? Auburn's a three loss team. Um, right, Florida's a good quality win, and of course you beat Alabama and Tuscaloosa. So I understand if people want to say that LSU has a a, a better strength. Matter of fact, they do have the better strength of schedule, but I just think that Ohio State has they've just been the more they've looked like the more complete football team. They just look like the more complete football team right now, and I think with the, with the schedule that they have, and with the qual and with Michigan coming up, and with the Big Ten championship game coming up, I think Ohio State has the resume that they can claim that number one spot. Now, LSU can get it back because um, they play Georgia in the SC Championship game, and they're the fourth-ranked team. And if LSU beats Georgia, they have the best strength. They would by far have the best strength of schedule record. Um, it's just the fact that, you know, how they perform against Georgia, right? If it's uh, if it's if this is another game where LSU's defense gets tortured by Georgia's offense, which has looked anemic, by the way, but LSU wins it in a shootout, right, compared to if Ohio State obliterates, let's say, Minnesota in the Big Ten Championship game, as far as who's going to take that number one and number two spot, it's going to be the team who has performed the best, not the team with the best with the better strength of schedule record. So Ohio State being number one for me, I just don't have that much of a problem with it. I know LSU fans will definitely have a problem with it, but I just I just don't have that much of a problem that they're number one. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. If you guys liked the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button because it really helps that helps my channel out. Um, you guys can also share the video and also like the video. I would really appreciate it and then again if you want to see more see, see, see more jan 716 content just hit that subscribe button click on those notification bells and you guys can definitely see more of me so anyway, guys that's all i got this is jan 716 i'll catch you guys later peace